Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today is the 27th of November 2022 and we are here in Blackpool for the last day of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach season. Yeah, we thought we'd come down, film a quick video um, and see what the park has to offer the last day of the season. I was here last weekend, um, but I didn't bother filming a video for it. Um, for the first ride of the day, we're heading over to the big one, aren't we? I'm about here with my dad, by the way. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, yes. Yes, the big one, the tallest roller coaster in the UK for now. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, yeah, it's first time as well, so. Yes, first first time for him at, at, at Pleasure Beach. Anyway, I've been to Pleasure Beach many, many times, as, um, as you guys all know, but... Yeah, I'm breaking that tradition of going on Icon first, my first ride of the day. Um, just because the big one has been quite unreliable lately because of winds. It valids earlier on in the season, and ever since then, the Pleasure Beach have been mindful about the wind speeds. <laughs> Therefore, it's been closing, up, been closing later on in the day. So yeah, let's get on the, um, the big one for our first ride of the day. was amazing yeah i really like the big one i don't think it's as rough as people make it out to be and um, we were on the very back on the wheel seat so if we had a smooth ride on that on, on that seat that should tell you all you need to know really so dad first time sum up your um big one experience in three words uh exhilarating scary and painful <laughs> <laughs> again i i don't think it's that painful top. but yeah, what else, the, the first drop was uh, just scary that really, really was scary, yeah. Well, if you found that scary, it's good. you're going to find this scary. Yes, Icon. Yeah, usually, like I said, the first ride we do here at um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, today is the second. Yeah, this was riding really, really well um, last weekend. Um, we're sort of going to get night rides today because the sun goes down at the moment about half four. Yeah, about half four. Half four, 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 four o'clock, yeah. So we should get a few rides in the dark, and I definitely want to try and get Icon as the last ride of the day. So, yeah. Let's get on this Mac Beast. It's about to go, look. Oh, I absolutely love the train design on this. I do feel like the launches are a little bit slow though compared to other launches I've done. Here we go, look. Right, let's get on. good we're going around again my god i tell you what for the morning actually that's running quite quickly i've said that a lot about oh there we go i've said that a lot about icon this season it's been running quicker in the morning and i'm not sure what they've been doing to it whether they've been testing it more but yeah in my opinion they've been running it faster um or it's been running faster in the morning um oh i didn't get your um, initial thoughts what do you think of it um it's one of the tidiest roller coasters I've been on. And yes. it needs to go on for a while, and a lot happens. Yes. I think we need to get you on it again to get your full thoughts and opinions, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to give you more thought, and I'm going to have to go around again. There we go, look, they're banging out the trains today. Oh, I tell you what, operations at Pleasure Eater always. And that continues on today, so let's go on. 
So we have just had three great rides on Icon there. Yeah, you can't just go on Icon once, can you? Especially when it's got no queue, which it didn't. Again, the operations are absolutely fantastic at this part today. So yeah, how, what do you think to the Icon in the front? Because we did Icon in the front, didn't we? Oh, Icon in the front was much better. Yes. Um, nice and smooth. Um, yeah, you leave your seat quite a bit. Yeah. You do, you do. There are a few good moments of airtime on Icon. One of the best airtime machines in the UK, in my opinion. I tell you what's not the best airtime machine in the UK. The Grand National, and that's what we're going on next. I keep telling myself this ride is going to get better. It doesn't. It just gets consistently worse. Let's get over to Grand National. Oh my word. Look at the state of that. Yeah, this is the Grand National. This is what we're going on next. Yeah, I'm really not a massive fan of this. They did do some retracking work. So they actually did some work to the, to the track last um, closed season. But it didn't make a difference. Of course it didn't. Because uh, why wouldn't it? It's the Grand National. So yeah, let's get on. The Grand National, look at it. Oh my word, it was as bad as I thought it was going to be. That wasn't great at all. Yeah, Grand National, something needs to be done with it. They either need to get rid of it or they need to do some serious refurbishment work. Dad, what did you think to it? Um, it was like multiple car crashes. Uh, my vertebrae now fused in many places. Well, you said you've been in smoother car crashes before. <laughs> and it felt like it was on an Indiana Jones film set with no safety precautions. Yeah, no, yeah, I get you on that one. It was not good. <laughs> oh my word. I tell you what we're, not, we're going on now. That's probably not much better. We're going on Infusion. Oh, we're, we're, we're going up the exit here. All right. <laughs> yeah, um, this is not much better in my opinion. So but it looks impressive off ride, I guess. So, Infusion was as bad as I was expecting it to be, oh my god. You know what? It looks decent off-ride, doesn't it? It looks alright. In fact, you thought it was alright. I did actually like, I like the ride, it was a good ride. But then I'd been pre-warned to keep my head off the, off the side, so... I tell you what, right. that is my golden piece of advice. If you're going to go on Infusion, keep your head either forwards or directly back in the seat and brace yourself. That way you'll have a decent ride. But I've had worse rides on Infusion, I guess. It's just not my cup of tea at all. Yeah, we decided to go eat at these um, fast food places down here. Um, I don't normally eat here, but I was fancy the jacket potato and I didn't have any. So instead, we got a cheeseburger meal. How much did it cost for one? About seven quid. Seven, seven fifty. Yeah. yeah, we got. Um, we, so we paid for two of these meals, um, and we got my discount, my pleasure week discount on top of that. But yeah, there we go. Just going up again. Look. I tell you what, they just need to tear it out. They need to put something decent in because <laughs> <laughs> it's just no good. Look at it. I like it. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, my word. Right. Let's have this burger and chips then. Oh, so we just finished our um, burger and chips meals then. And you know what? I wasn't that good. Um, I've never thought that Pleasure Beach food is that good, although the jacket potatoes from here are. Especially in coasters. Jacket potatoes in coasters when coasters is open is very, very good. Coasters referring to that big restaurant behind me, by the way. Um, yeah, um, we are heading off towards the big one now, just because, you know, I've not really been on it this season. Yeah, when well, you can, because that coaster is up and down like a yo-yo at the moment. Like I said at the start of the video, you just don't know when you're going to catch it open and when it's not. So that's why we went on it as the first ride of the day, because I've been spited by that roller coaster so many times this season. Oh, and here we go again then, the big one. Look at it. I just love the area that surrounds the big one's entrance. Like, you've got a steeplechase there. Your icon's big incline loop there, and yeah, of course, this big, big one entrance. It really is a great roller coaster. I don't get why it gets so much hate. I know that when I first went on this, I wasn't a massive fan of it, but I've changed my mind since then. I really, really have. Oh, if you're not jumping over these ropes when it's not got a queue, you're doing the big one wrong. Oh my god, I just tripped over. <laughs> right, let's get on it. Love the shape of the station as well. Oh, that was a bumpy ride. Yes, it wasn't that bad, but it was a bit more bumpy than this morning. Still not rough, but yeah, still love the uh, the big one, the way it rides. 
I think it's a fantastic roller coaster. I love the hyper coasters though, um, even though I've only done two. I tell you what is also really high, the Revolution. And we're about to do it. I don't know how the wind's picking up on the microphone, by the way, because um, I haven't got a wind muffler for this camera, but yeah, you can see loads from the, uh, from the queue here. I absolutely love this ride because of that. And it looks like it's actually a walk-on. So let's get on the Revolution. Wow, look at that view. I tell you what, that is a lot more intense than it looks, yeah. Um, it's one of those coasters that really do, does take you by surprise. If you're not expecting what that has to offer in terms of like, the intensity, especially as you come off the drop, yeah, you, you, you're gonna gray out. And I have done a couple of times that roller coaster. I really like it, you really liked it as well. Yeah, it was good. It was short, but it was intense. Yeah. Definitely intense. That's the way I describe it, short but intense. It is really, really good though. Yeah. I do really like it. it. I'll tell you what I also really like, kind of, um, <laughs> a little bit. Um, steeplechase, yes. The one of a kind roller coaster. Really, look at it. Yeah, good old um, Arrow Classic, like the big one this is. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, I'm gonna win on this race. <laughs> really? Yes, I always <laughs> win. Sounds like a challenge, that is. <laughs> And there we go, there's a the big one again, look at it. Look at it, look how tall it is. You get some amazing views from the top of that roller coaster. This is one of those parks I wish I could film on ride at, just so I could get like, the views from the top of that coaster. Oh, and talking about good coaster views. Here's Icon Look. So we've just come off of steeplechase and I didn't win, sadly. <laughs> I let the team down and he won. I did. I won. <laughs> well, mind you, the heaviest usually wins on that. Yeah, so. like <laughs> <laughs> Say that as you will, but yeah. It was, it's an all right roller coaster for what it is and it's great for the families. Uh, but I really enjoy it anyway, although it does break your hips in some places. i tell you what also breaks your hips. This big, big orange coaster here. Now, this used to be called just the roller coaster, and the lift hill for this roller coaster um, was actually part of a previous roller coaster, the Velvet Coaster. I don't know whether I've ever said that on a video before, but there you go. Um, yeah, now it's painted bright orange, and it's called Nick Street because it's themed into the Nickelodeon area of the park. So yeah, let's actually get into the Nickelodeon area of the park and get on the Nick Street roller coaster. really really enjoy Nick Streak. I think it's a really good wooden roller coaster. I wouldn't call it one of my favourites but I'd definitely say for this park it's very oh my god <laughs> they got took out by a damn seagull. <laughs> How did Come you find on, that? Uh, it felt like it was going to fall apart at any moment. Oh put your phone away on the ride no loose articles please. <laughs> yeah that was good though I enjoyed it it was good. I love how the train actually flexes. Yeah, that was a bit uh, off-putting when the, yeah, the, tra the actual carriage starts flexing. Gives it a bit of character though, doesn't it? Um, no, it makes you feel very real <laughs> yourself. Oh, I tell you what, it does have character. The Thrillomatic. Yeah, this is the Wallet and Gromit ride here at Pleasure Beach and this is what we're going on next. Oh yes. Are you ready for it? Oh yes. Let's do it. You like Wallet and Gromit, don't you? Oh, I love Wallet and Gromit. <laughs> You know what? I am having a really, really good day here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach today. It's been a really, really good day. The operations have been absolutely superb. Um, and yeah, we're in the golden hour now where the sun is setting on Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's all looking very nice. Dad, are you enjoying your day? I'm loving it, mate. Absolutely loving it. It's yeah, well, a good day out. Taking a ride on the um, classic fly machines now. This was the first ride here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, all those years ago. I don't know any more than that, so I won't bother 
um, talking about it. But yeah, I love the way these are designed. They're so retro. And you can actually see the mechanism to this ride if you go in the Kiss Me Quick shop that's underneath here. Yeah, we had a look at that, didn't we? But it wasn't yeah, running yeah. around. So we decided to come on. So it did start running around. But yeah, look at that. Love it. enjoy ice blast that was a really good ride on that um i do prefer the one at flamingo land cliffhanger but i have to say it's really good that i think this and cliffhanger at flamingo land are about the same high actually what did you think to it oh uh, there's good scenery when you got there yes getting up there was a bit difficult but <laughs> the only one you've done of these is the one at fancy island that's right yeah 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 you've not done another one no so this is not the second one really so in yeah, fact good. i enjoyed it the last time i did one of these with you i passed out yeah, on you it. Passed out. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Literally. I was one of your first goes on one, yeah. And I, only tiny. I'll tell you what else I might pass out on. Valhalla. Yeah, it's still not open. Um, there was a bit of debate on Twitter yesterday about um, why Valhalla's not open, and even Amanda Thompson don't know why, 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 why Valhalla isn't open. I think, it, I think it's been delayed by things like Brexit, um, and Kobe didn't help as well. Um, but yeah, look at this. Um, they've done up the third table now, so that's completely cornered off. Um, before you could see in there, I know a couple of like months ago they put some like um, metal bits on there to put the woods to block it off, but yeah, there's not really much going on outside either, and we can't really look over. Um, I'll put some shots in or some um, photos that I took of um, the site of Alhalla whilst I was on um, the flying machines. Um, so I took some on my new camera. By the way, uh, my off-ride shots are taken on my new Sony ZV-1. So let me know down in the comments whether you've noticed a visual improvement on the off-ride clips, because I've already tried, and I'm going for the more cinematic 30 FPS thing at the moment as well. So let me know if that's working in the videos as well. But yeah, like I said on there, having a really, really good day at Pleasure Beach. Um, I do think Pleasure Beach is better when it's got an atmosphere, but it's the very last day of the season. Um, really, it's only the enthusiasts and Pleasure Beach fans that are actually here today. But, um, but yeah, Dad's having a good time as well. And like I say, we've got a sunset to enjoy. The time now is, oh, it's actually um, four o'clock. So we've only got an hour of riding left. So I'm gonna, probably gonna do a few re-rides. Um, we're planning to go on Icon as our last ride of the day um, and get a night ride on that. So that's really exciting. You, you're quite excited for um, night ride on Icon, aren't oh, yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I like Icon. Yes, I like Icon. I don't think it's the best ride in the country like a lot of people say it is, but I do appreciate it. I do really like it. So it's right. Comfortable ride on the, on yes. the, in the uh, country, but uh, it's not the best. Comfortable, but it's not the best. I'll tell you what we should do. Avalanche, because you really wanted to do Avalanche. I didn't want to do Avalanche. Yeah, the bobsled. Yeah, I've got to do that. It's got to feel, feel out of control. Bobsled team the ride. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
we have just come off of Avalanche, and I have to say, again, like a lot of coasts in this park, that's really underappreciated. Um, I feel like it's a very unique coaster. Obviously, you've got the bobsled elements, um, so that offers something. Um, and it literally offers weightlessness because the car of the train actually leaves the track at some point. I love it. It's so janky. What do you think to it? Um, a bit bumpy. Totally out of control. And um, yeah, unique. Like a good yeah, coaster totally should unique. be. Yeah, like yeah. A good coaster should be. Yeah, proper unique that was, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you yeah, what. I did like it. Icon doesn't look to have that big of Q, but we're going to go see what the Q for the big one is like. So I want to get on both big one and Icon before we go. Yeah. Um, it's completely dark here now, so the views from the big one will be absolutely amazing. To be fair, I don't mind which one we go on. Um, I don't mind if we get one or the other, um, because we'll definitely be back here next year to bring you more content from um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach and also to come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, because Blackpool Pleasure Beach is awesome. Um, I really enjoy the park, and I think it's one of the most unique parks in the UK, because you've got so many rides, so densely packed into such a small space. I mean, you know, <laughs> if you said to me, oh, they've, they've, picked, they've packed this many coasters into this space without knowing what it is, I would have said, no, nah, there's no way, but... Oh, you know what? That's not a bad queue for the big one. I think we should queue for the big one. Yeah, let's go for the big one. Let's go for the yeah, big, big one. Big one, big one. Oh, uh, well, well, it depends whether I icon over here goes down quick enough because um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach actually shut the queues when the park closes but they filter the queues out first before they kick everybody out so yeah they'll get through the queue and then um sorry they'll close the queue get through everybody and then kick everybody out <laughs> so right let's get on one of our last rides of the day on the big one look at it i love that sign So there we go then, we have just ended our day on the big one and my God, I love it. It's now my favorite roller coaster here at the Pleasure Beach. Um, it's been uh, teetering on the edge of being my favorite coaster here for a while, to be honest with you. The work that Tazica have done to this in terms of the retrack um, has been absolutely amazing. If you didn't know, the big one has been getting partially retracked every year during the closed season um, by a company called Tazica, who do steel works and things like that. And they've recently got into coaster retracking. I'll be making a video about that very, very soon, by the way. So stick around for that. Um, but yeah, it was riding amazing. Um, I, I, I've got no complaints. It was a bit bumpy, but with the big one, um, you've got to expect that. It's not a smooth roller coaster, but I enjoy it for what it is, for, for sure. What do you think of the big one? Uh, the big one was brilliant, to be honest with you. Uh, it's good, good in the dark, because you can see all the lights. Yes. Uh, around Liverpool. Um, a bit bumpy. Liverpool? But, yeah. <laughs> uh, Liverpool. Well, definitely sorry. not in Liverpool. Liverpool, sorry. I cut that bit out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it was brilliant. It was really, really good. Yeah, it was br uh, bumpy, but it's, it's awesome in the dark. Yes. You've got to ride it in the dark if you ever get a chance to. And that was my last roller coaster of 2022. Yeah, I've got no more plans to go anywhere this year. Although, actually, no, I tell a lie. I'm planning to go to Alton Towers um, next weekend for their winter event, hopefully, depending. And I'll definitely be doing a video from that, if so. Um, but yes, our day at Blackpool has been absolutely superb. Well done, Blackpool. You've done a great job operations-wise. The operations have been really, really good. Um, the atmosphere has been good. It's been quiet, very quiet. We're not really waiting for anything today, um, but we've seen so many people um, at the Pleasure Beach today. And oh, there we go. It's behind me, look. You can just see it going round. There we go, yeah. I've seen so many people here today. And thank you to the guys who've, um, who've, who've come and um, see me who watch the channel and um, i really do appreciate it um yeah you guys are awesome have you got any um comments for my pleasure beach do you did, did uh, you enjoy the day uh day was brilliant it was well worth the money because it's your first visit yeah, isn't yeah, it my first visit yeah yeah so it's well worth the money um food is a bit overpriced don't like overpriced food um but this the 
park, you know, everything that's on it is absolutely amazing. Oh, and yeah. It's really, really well run. You can't fault it anyway, and it's well worth the money it pays. Yeah, Amanda, yeah, who um, who owns the park, I mean, this, this is one thing, the Thompson family and Amanda, who owns the park, they, they're they they're really passionate at what they do. And people give Amanda, particularly at the moment, a lot of heat online for things like Valhalla, and I definitely think it's unwarranted. Um, Amanda hasn't had anything to do with the Valhalla project, um, and, you know, she's not been overseeing it, so she doesn't know what's happening with it. Um, we don't know what's happening with it, and I'm really hoping it opens for next year. Um, she did post online today that she was expecting it to open today, and I was sort of like, hmm, why would you open it on your two last days of the season? But that's <laughs> that, that's irrelevant. Um, yeah, we, they, she was expecting Valhalla to open um, for the closing weekend, essentially, and it never did happen, but um, yeah. I'm hoping it opens next year because apparently it's one of the best water rides in the world, and I'll definitely be bringing you a video reviewing the ride when it does open, um, because uh, yeah, I've had it hyped up so much. Um, I really, really do want to go on it. So, sadly, we have come to the end of the video. So if you have liked it, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. And please do subscribe, do subscribe so you don't miss the ride. I've been Ryan from iCoaster. This has been my lovely father. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> this has been my lovely father and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.